Hello, Business 635. This is Professor Hasse. It's week 10, the last week of our fall term. Business 635, Managing Financial Resources. And again, this is for one of the two last times this semester or this term. This is Professor Hasse, live and in color from Claremont, California. And I want to welcome you all to week 10. I know a lot of you are have finished up your electrics case. And are now moving forward to case number four, which is posted in Blackboard, and I'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. This week 10 is, a, is our last week of our term. You have one more case to do, and then we can wrap it up. I'll have one more video for you later on in the week to wrap up the course. Uh, but this video is to introduce week 10, and our subject this week is in our case study is bankruptcy. The final managing of financial resources for any company. When, when a company's circle of life is over, <clears throat> when the business model is come to a conclusion, can the company survive or will they liquidate? Bankruptcy is one of those final strategies that a company can do to reorganize or close down their operations. And that's what we're studying and what I had you look at a little bit in our off week last week, of which week number nine has all the information about bankruptcies. You've done a very good student discussion forums on that subject of which I've posted the grades. And uh, this is a, an individual work here this week to uh, look at a real case of a company trying to decide should they liquidate, should they reorganize. <clears throat> and that's what we're doing this week. Speaking of that, here's the case here. It's located in our case study fo file folder in Blackboard. Is it worth, is it worth more dead than alive? is the title of this case. And this is your final grade in our class. <clears throat> Many of you and all of you have done very hard work and have done very well in this class, and I want to commend you for all that work. I'll talk more about that later on in the week. Here's our case right here. It's already posted. You're looking at a company called the DuraWare Company. And an investor from an investment firm has some money in this DuraWare Company and he is trying to decide whether this investment is coming to a conclusion or should they stick with the company. You're going to be doing some analysis in this regard in this case. Your format will be a uh, Word document or PDF document and you'll be doing a memorandum. A memorandum as you representing the CFO of the company or a consultant to the CFO writing a memo to the president, Alex Peterson, of whether they should provide and should continue with the investment of this company called Duraway. Duraware. Read the case, look at the financial information, and answer the questions accordingly in your memorandum to the president. This is our final work in our class. It is due next Sunday night, December 8th at midnight. If any of you need some extensions, feel free to let me know, and you can get an extension to work into the next week if, at all, if you need be. So please uh, feel free to discuss this. Also, I wanted to give you an idea uh, in the last page of this case. Please note, or excuse me, in the week 10 of this case, I'm sorry. Let's bring this back here. In week 10 of our Blackboard, you'll see an explanation of your course evaluations. And this is something that I would like all of you to, to review once you've completed your case number four work is to go into your My Laverne and fill out the course evaluation. It's very important to me and also it's important to you because it keeps the quality of our program going with your suggestions, feedback, both positive and negative. Also, if you do complete your course evaluation, you will get your grade by Friday, December 13th. It will be posted the blackboard with your final course grade. This is my blackmail to the students of our class. If you complete your evaluation, I will go ahead and post your final grade. If you do not complete the evaluation, it will not influence your grade at all. It just will influence your, your time of getting the grade. You'll have to wait for the registrar in a few weeks later to post your grade after I send your grade into the registrar to find out what you got in the course. That's my academic blackmail in regards to this. Complete your evaluation, you'll get your grade on December 13th. 
Also, look this week, during the course of this week, probably by Wednesday or Thursday, your grade for the Electrics Corporation with the solutions being provided so you can see my interpretation of that case. So again, we're back. So what your task this week is to complete case number four. Some of you are still on extension for the electric case. Please make sure you get that work done. Post the case number four by next Sunday. Fill out the course evaluation and you'll get your grade by December 13th. Deal? I think that's a good deal. Well, maybe you might not think so. Uh, also, look for my video later on in the week. I'll have a wrap-up lecture to our course, summing it all up into one little video lecture about what we tried to accomplish, which I hopefully you got out of this course, and wrap up the course uh, later on this week. If you have any questions or concerns about case number four or the electrics case, please feel free to let me know. Uh, it's been a pleasure, but I'll talk to you later on this week. So this is Mr. Hassey from Claremont, California, saying so long until next time. Bye-bye.